Well, folks, here again for the weekly forecast. Before we get to the main look at this next seven days, let's take a look at what happened during this last week. Once again, we had another significant storm system roll through the central plains, basically emerged from the central Rockies and then moved toward the northeast. And many of the locations that were impacted during the first big snow storm and rainmaker of the month were hit once again with this precipitation. We had over two inches of moisture, very common across northeast Nebraska. We had in excess of an inch in many locations in the northern half of the panhandle. And we've seen totals varying anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half across a good portion of east central and southeast Nebraska. Unfortunately, the areas that most desperately need the precipitation, the southwest, west central Nebraska, although they did get some precipitation, fell well short of what many of the other locations in the state have been receiving. So through the first half of the month, we have numerous locations in northeast Nebraska, portions of south central Nebraska, and in east central Nebraska, that have received at least twice their normal October precipitation and quite a few locations now are pushing up, particularly around the Norfolk area, three times their normal October precipitation. So we could use a dry spell. Is that in the forecast? Well, let's take a look at the upper models and see whether or not we can see some decent harvest activity weather. And the first thing I'll draw your attention to is we have a fairly significant trough that has been building and will continue to build over the next few days across the eastern United States. And this allows the cool air to move into our region and we should have quite a, a bit of frequency of little frontal passages passing through. But since everything's coming from the northwest, we now have no moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico at the lower levels of the atmosphere. So any precipitation that this fall is going to be exceptionally light. In fact, during the seven-day period, quantitative precipitation forecast for the entire state paint anywhere from just a trace to up to a quarter of an inch. And most of that has been situated in northeastern uh, uh, Nebraska where it is in direct is in a direct line with the systems that are moving from the southwest. So as we go into tomorrow, we will see that the trough kind of backs up a little bit and we end a little bit of energy that's going to try to push southward. And as we get into Monday, it really is going to strengthen and pull down some very cold air into the region. And we may have the chance for some scattered precipitation from Sunday night through Monday morning, particularly across northeastern and northern Nebraska be isolated sprinkles, possibly even mixed with a little bit of wet snow during the coldest part of the, uh, of the evening hours. Now, as we go into Tuesday, that system will start to shift the energy to the east of us. We'll still see a cold fetch coming into our region, and we expect exceptionally cold air. But then things start to ease up. We start to see that trough move to the east, and a ridge starts to build in, and it becomes very dramatic as we get into Thursday. And then as we get into Friday, we see that all that cold air moves off to the Great Lakes. So if we look at the temperature forecast, Looking at some very cold temperatures in the northeast part of the state, much warmer to the west during this weekend. We do have this just slight chances of sprinkles. And then we see that coldest temperatures during the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame before we see that slow warm up as we get into the weekend. Now, as we go a little bit farther out, we do notice that they are forecasting for next Thursday the following Tuesday a large area of below normal or temperatures and in terms of precipitation above normal. And this is in response to a potential storm system that may be developing as we get toward the end of the month. And the models are all over the place, but just a forewarning that if this does develop, it could be just as significant as some of the previous storms we've seen this month.